kind of off right now um so this is what i'm basically going to be filming and showing you guys how to recreate right now um i thought i should just film this with a kind of step by step get ready with me in a way you know okay honestly this look required more than one palette so i did pick up colors from different palettes here and there so the first one I used today was the Morphe 25A and this is the copper palette it's a little dirty don't mind that but I ended up using this shade right here for my transition it's sadly these don't have a name so I can't really just say what name they are but you know you just follow along and I took my Morphe 433 brush, which is this blender. So I just went in and I kind of worked it into my inner corner a bit, very lightly. The key is very light little circles, whatever you want to do, or whatever technique you have. I like to kind of fan it out. But yeah, okay, so we're gonna just start off like that, just to first get that layer of that transition shade on but at the same time kind of blend um so these brushes are from morphe but they don't really have names it just came in a set of like a bunch of eye brushes and face brushes like these but i'll be sure to link them down below so you guys know what the heck i'm using anyway um so i use this little kind of pointed blender to blend out my nicely blended um transition shade will really help out a lot um this is actually the second time I attempt a cut crease. I know. So if it doesn't look as good, that's why. But this is what I came up with. The first time was horrific. I didn't know what I was doing and it looked pretty ridiculous. So I ended up having to redo my makeup that day. Okay, now taking my Morphe 3502. We're going to take the color heat and mix it with chestnut later after we blend it out so this is heat it's just this nice um kind of oh you guys can't see that let me see try to swatch it a little better um it's just this like brick red type of color once i blended out a heat i went in with the color chestnut which is this pretty maroon color and i also mix that color chestnut in with red ochre from my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette so I'm telling you guys it's a lot of colors but it's very but this is what I like to use so I use this angled real techniques brush here it's a brow brush but it's really thick and I don't like thick brushes for my brows so I decided to use it in this so I close my eye and I started carving out the shape of my crease. Try to get this not super neat because you're going to blend it out anyway, but just try to start creating that shape. So even if it looks kind of trashy right now, it'll look better. So it should look something like that. Um, you should do this without your foundation or concealer on. You should do this after your brows before you start your actual face. Just in case you have any fallout, you could just take a wipe, you know, and just erase it. So I took this M505 brush and I started blending it out a little, but you just want to start in your inner corner and work your way out. Really soft little feathery strokes. Um, blending takes a lot of patience, so you want to make sure you really are careful and very light-handed with it, because you'll get a lot better results with that. Any concealer will work on this part. 
Um, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that on my brush and I'm gonna go in and work on cleaning up that line and the outer wing. Alright, so what I did was I took my concealer and I started off first in my inner corner, sketched it out, I got to where my arch of my brow was, and I winged it out. So I'll just show you guys how I did that. So you just want to carefully do this, clean it up. I'm sorry, I just like to have my mirror really close right, to me. so for the lid color, I just went in with something basic. Um, I went in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is a face palette. But you can actually find the same shade in here um, that I used. Mine looks so ugly, so just ignore it. But I used this same shade. And I just did that to mattify my eyelid and just set the concealer in place. So I'm just taking I'm that. With it. Just to really intensify the bottom lash line since the top of my lid was very heavy and just to even out the look you know eye with it just to really intensify the bottom lash line since the top of my lid was very heavy and just to even out the look you know and I just applied it there And I also tie line my eye with this. Just took that black. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just going into my lower lash line and mixing all those colors together. And now I'm taking this small brush that also came with that Morphe set that I was talking about earlier. And I'm taking not an eyeshadow but Jeffree Star's King Tut highlighter and I really like to use this also as a inner corner highlight because it's so pigmented and I just like the way it looks in my inner corner so I'm just taking that and applying it there you can't really see it right now I'm out of focus a little and this is so buildable, so you can add as much highlight as you want, or if you just want it nice and subtle, you can add a little and just blend it in with a little brush. But I like my inner corner to pop, so I'm going to put a lot. Now the final step is the lashes. Now, I don't know what lashes these are that I have on. They're super simple, but honestly, they kind of reminded me of the Ardell lashes in a way. Um, these came with the wig that I ordered one time. I don't know why, but I have this one in already. Now I'm just going to put it... So after you finish your eye look, you could just go in and really do your face routine, your primer, foundation, concealer bronzer, contour, whatever you like to do. I'm not going to do that right now because I am going to wipe this off already as soon as I finish this video. This was just for the purpose of you guys to see how I created this look and how you could just create a basic um, cut There's crease definitely look. a lot of things that you could do differently to spice it up. You know, make it more glam. You can add glitter to the lid. You can add glitter in the inner corner. You could add super dramatic lashes, you could add a wing liner, you can add colorful liner. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely try to experiment with whatever colors you'd like. You do not have to purchase the Morphe 3502 if you don't want to. You don't have to use reds, you can use blues, browns, you can use extremely crazy colors, whatever is up to you. But I just hope you guys enjoyed this video and I apologize if I kept going out of focus throughout the video I was trying my best to keep it in focus but because I had to keep looking at the mirror to see what I was doing 
it I'll be sure out. to link everything I use down below just in case you missed it. Um, I'll list my foundation, my um, brow products, my mascara, my everything. Oh, which I don't think I even showed you guys that I used mascara, which I did. I did it off camera. It was the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I like this mascara a lot. So, Thank you guys yeah. so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Definitely let me know if you have any suggestions for any videos you want to see. Um, I'll be sure to start filming more of these looks. If you guys would like that, just let me know in the comment section. And also give me a like.